Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. Today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making some winter inspired penguin cookies. I'm going to start by flooding my large snowflake in a light purple. For my piping consistency icing, I'll be using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll be using a number three Wilton tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for 6 to 12 hours before we add some white piping and other details. Let's add some more purple candy for fun. purpley snowflake is all done. On my penguin, I've used some food coloring marker to go ahead and draw some guidelines for piping on the cookie. I'm going to start by flooding the black elements. For my piping consistency icing, I'll be using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll be using a number three Wilton tip. Now I'll let this layer dry for 20 minutes to an hour before I go in and flood his little white belly and his bright orange feet. dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and complete the flooding of his hat. Now before this flooding dries, I'm also going to go in with some purple flooding consistency icing to add some detail. Then I'll use my scribe tool to do some dragging. Now I'll let this flooding dry for 6 to 12 hours before I go in and give her some facial features and add all her piping. Now I'll let this piping dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before I go in and give my penguin some eyes and a beak. Before I add the eyeballs and the beak, I'm going to go in with some dry pink luster dust and a food safe brush to give our penguin some rosy cheeks. Now I'll let the eyes and beak dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before I add some final detail. And we'll finish up our penguin by giving her some eyelashes using a food coloring marker. This penguin's all done and ready for some snowy fun. For my smaller snowflake, I'm going to start by flooding the entire base in a white. For my piping consistency icing, I'll be using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll be using a number three Wilton tip. Now 
Now I'll let this snowflake dry for 6 to 12 hours before I add some purple piping and some other detail. Let's add a little extra detail with some pearls. all ready for its big descent from the clouds. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Cool Cookie Show. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Want to be a part of the creativity? Let me know what characters and shapes you'd like to see in the comments below. For more of my cookie creations, check out my channel, tune in every Tuesday, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet!